Okay, so let me introduce myself. My name is Roman. I work uh, as a product analyst in a company called Bini Games. I work uh, almost for in this position for almost uh, two and a half year, uh, years. And I, if I can help you with your question, I previously saw your profile, LinkedIn, your GitHub. Uh, maybe we could also, as you wrote previously, provide some mock interview if you interest. So I will be glad to discuss uh, all this topic with you today. Okay, uh, let me introduce myself then. Mm -hmm. So I'm Hailin and I am currently working as a data analyst trainee at Digitas. So they are a marketing and advertising agency. And since I'm working as an intern, I'm ending my internship um, at, at the uh, like end of this month. So I'm only working at the end of this month. But mm -hmm. Previously, before I joined as a data analyst, I was actually an auditor at KPMG because like I studied accounting and finance in uni. So after like a year and a half working in audit and accounting, I decided that uh, I was a bit like I wanted something more exciting and challenging. So yeah, I took up some courses on data analytics and and pr proceeded with this route. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. So uh maybe you have you have some question for now that I can answer about data analytics, about stuff like this? Uh, I think mostly it's just like I am, I need to, I mean, like, I just want to get a review or like maybe can review mm -hmm. my resume because I'm currently mm -hmm. applying to jobs because like my internship is ending soon. So yeah, I'm applying to jobs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, can you share it? Yeah, sure. So can you see my screen? Um, yeah, 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 I can yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. Share the link as well, just in case you need it. Okay, I'll share it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, uh, for, for example, on this uh, like data analyst training position, I think that you work in Google Looker Studio. I think that you work to use Tableau. And what are the technology? For example, you like you wrote that you perform A-B testing, but I don't understand what is a tool you use there. So was it Firebase or did you work on with SQL on this? Uh, position and so on so it's something that i need not only about a b testing so i need to know for for, for this position what technology you use you used on this position for this uh not only for a b testing for all these positions so okay you used uh, google looker studio you used tableau what else um i use glassbox this is one of it this is like um, a web analytics tools like user mm -hmm. behavior analysis and I also use SQL, like MySQL, mm -hmm. Excel. Oh yeah, Google Google Studio Excel, PowerPoint. Yeah, I think that's basically all the tools I use. Ah, oh, yeah, and Power BI. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I think you need to to add this. Uh, also, it's helped with uh, this application. Uh, I, I forgot how it called ATS. So that parts all uh, stuff, all, all the technologies that you use. And also with A-B testing, what uh, tools you use for A-B testing? Uh, it's not like really A-B testing. It's just like we try out different features like on the websites, yeah. So it's so linear, it's not... linear, like linear A-B testing, right? So when yeah. you like have with, without fe fe some feature and then with, with some feature. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so my advice is to add, add SQL, add Excel, add uh, this, this technologies, add Power BI that you use to, on this work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can go to KPMG more. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Excel.
Okay, uh, what technology except uh, Microsoft Excel? What? No, yeah. Uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft. Yeah, it's basically mainly Excel, Microsoft Word, Adobe, PDF, and mm -hmm. our own audit software. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and also, mm -hmm. uh, and there's one like data analysis tool called Idea. I'm not sure if people still use them, but yeah, we used to use them before we changed our audit. I mean, before we updated the audit software. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, project, uh, can you go to the skills and certification? More. Uh -huh. uh, Python, SQL, tools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can we? Uh, for me, for me, your uh, CV looks uh, good. Uh, when we, can we go to the projects? Uh, it is... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, may I... Uh, let's... Uh, for, for me to share, because it's more more, more comfortable for me. Okay. okay. Uh, share screen. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay, uh, I looked at your GitHub, it's uh, very uh, good looking about this uh, description and, and so on and so forth. Uh, firstly, uh, these three projects, uh, I, I, I can find it there, right, or not? Yeah, yeah it's in here, but it's yeah. easier if you go to overview because some of them are within the repository. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I... what? Restaurant, I thought uh, here, yeah, yes, one of them. Uh, the second one, wait, let me find it. One yeah, is... I, I looked at it, but uh, it's uh, like here, you just uh, it's uh, about you you're creating this in, in this uh, query, as I understand, you're creating this database, and that's all. Yeah, um, I do have the PowerPoint, I mean, like the, the PDF version, like the you go to the Mm -hmm. Most bottom one, no, the last one, the SQL project restaurant database. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't have the explanation there. And also the README, I did put some explanation and brief like description at the README part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's a, I, I did a presentation on this. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is better to don't just download it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh huh. It's in a uh, but it's in my view uh correct me if I'm wrong in my view it is more uh like data engineering project no uh, no actually no it's like so you um, you you're creating you're creating this database so so what, what what's the point in this uh uh project oh so uh, like in this course, this was actually a course, like eight week course. So they teach us about like different features and like different query methods in like SQL, for example, like how we can use like all the stuff that I did below. Yeah, they taught us all the stuff. So they want us to implement it in this project, like want us to create a database, like a schema on our own, and then show how we use all those um, things that they taught us. Like there's a requirement um, in the project, 
project brief, like asking us to use all this stuff, like like for example, using subquery, stop procedures, even like ask us to demonstrate how can we do it with our the database that we created. Yeah, the schema that we created because they want us to use it in our own like database created. Yeah, they want us to show how can we do that because like we do have examples, but the examples is like they they'll just give you the answers, but now they want us to do it on our own and show them. Yeah. Uh, do you analyze this database to receive some, I don't know, insights, to receive some conclusions, to receive some data for your visualization or so on? Um, not really. Oh, because it's 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 still for me it's more more data engineering task to creating day schemes, this, this stuff with schemes with database. In my view, a SQL project for a data analyst, it is something that you like uh, grab data from some database, you try to like uh, uh, propose or create some hypotheses, and then you prove them or wrong, you find some insight and so on and so forth. So in in my view, it is more SQL project for data analysts than like starting from creating scheme and so. But it's maybe only my opinion. The, I actually have I, I actually saw some like data. Wait, no, not data. Like SQL like challenges. Like mm -hmm. for example, they have the database already there, and they have some question like um below like asking us to solve the problems. Do you think that is more data analyst job? Mm -hmm. like, for example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. It's uh, not have to be like database. You just could uh, download a file from Kaggle, uh, uh, then use it in, for example, BigQuery, so you can uh, like launch your uh, uh, free account in Sandbox. It's it's have, give you one terabyte of information of query information for a month. And you can like practice there to, to receive from this. So if, if you like to have some little mock interview, so we could provide and I can show it to you uh, in a couple of minutes. OK. Okay. It will be. So yeah, so my, my advice is more try to uh, like analyze with the help of SQL, analyze some data set. Something or maybe it's the same if you have some uh, like uh, database from this restaurant. So ask yourself, for example, what is the I don't know like the pop more, most popular week of uh, uh, this restaurant and so on. So it is for, for me it is easier when when I looked on some data, and then uh, like create some insights that you can give to this uh, imaginable restaurant restaurant. So what what you how they can grow their business, how they can uh, proceed more efficiently and efficiently and so on. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can I share something? Is that like is mm -hmm. uh, related to the um, challenge I mentioned just yeah, now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You could. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, based on what you uh, mentioned, so... mm -hmm. you can share, share a screen. It. Okay, let me share real quick. Okay, so. I'm not sure if you've seen this before, but mm -hmm. I do see people doing it on LinkedIn. So yeah, I happen to stumble upon it on LinkedIn. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they do have a like problem statement. Like this is the ER diagram. Yeah, they have the yeah, this is their schema. They provide this. And then there's like the questions here. So I was thinking if based on what you just mentioned, like providing recommendations, is it do you think it's like helpful if I like answer all these questions, like I query all these the questions. I mean, I query the answers for all the case study questions. And then I write a recommendation below. Oh, so because we know like which like um, which customers spend the most or like which um, item is the most popular, we can say, oh, um, this is the most popular. I mean, like which day is the most popular. So um, they should, I don't know, extend the operation hours or like, um, or like which, if the menu is like very popular, they should promote more. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's look <laughs> for me for in my in my view, it's looked more like a SQL project because uh, uh, in majority cases, in maybe not major majority, but uh, you have uh, like database uh, in SQL and you can query them and receive all information even without like uh, importing it to Power BI or Tableau if it's something, some ad hoc information, something that you need to know right now and like at this moment. Yeah, so it's it's look more because it's uh, in uh, in company it is or, or like 
uh, traditional they have like data engineers and these data engineers this is they are people who provide these uh, schemes uh, like like uh, to database to create some infrastructure and so on and uh, uh, data anal mostly then data analyst work starts when uh, you already have these schemes when you already have this database and these relationships with the among database among tables and you start to like uh, asking this question and try with the help of SQL or other tools receiving uh, some information. Yeah, so okay. I, I think more it's more uh, relate to uh, data analyst tasks than previous one. All right. Okay. Let me just do this and add this on like the GitHub, mm -hmm. like real. Yeah. ASAP. Yeah. 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 So let's mm -hmm. me. Uh, still sharing. Also, uh, previously, among, uh, about uh, like uh, commonly about GitHub. So uh, you uh, have a lot of project. You have nice uh, this description and so on. But with your activity field, it is something strange uh, because, for example, uh, some in in most so there are a little uh, couple of days when you commit something. Yeah, like one commit to like this commit, but this like last week uh, you have like in one day fifty five commit contributions and sixty seven contributions. So in my view, it is always better to be more uh, systematic. So you you learn something you create something from time to like uh, maybe not every day but uh, in majority days and you commit it like once maybe after you finish it at the end of the day or when not not uh, during as this is 67 commits uh, in one day so you commit mm -hmm. i don't know like every five minutes uh, as something like this Oh, I actually committed like the whole night <laughs> i committed mm -hmm. like throughout midnight because i didn't know how to add files previously so like my my github was a mess so like that day itself like i took a lot of time to just mm -hmm. to fix my github like to tidy up my github yeah that's why mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so so my advice is when you like uh, try to be more consistent so not in this like stuff like you commit something and then for a month you did not commit anything and then for i don't know six weeks another without any commit and then so so it's like more more uh like, uh, like when you learn so for example if you even if you learn something and you don't want to it to be public uh so you can create private repository nobody will uh, see this code but at least it will be in your activity field okay yeah so it's right. it's I'll not it's not something something very important but uh, still it's something that uh, could uh, show uh, for example some some recruiter or some hiring manager may think that you like uh, yeah so you study like i don't know month in uh, one and a half month and so on so you have some period of intensive study and then you have a long period of without studying at all of course, it's not correlated your commitment and committing to GitHub to your educational activity, but still, it's like uh, better to be more green than gray, uh, at least in the last weeks. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what else uh, projects that uh, are on your CV and I could see here? Um, the data visualization. I put the superstore analysis, the Power BI the mm -hmm. first one Okay, I, I, I know I don't have the link, the Power BI link, because I can't share the link for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because like my Power BI is the free version. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I know this, but you at least, if someone wants to like look your on the Power BI, you can uh, download it on your Google Drive uh, disk. You know what the Google Drive is, right? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, mean so, the Power BI file? 
yeah yeah like yeah the yeah, it. yeah oh, okay, give, okay. Give, give a link and someone who wants uh, to to look at it for example i use it with my mentees uh so i download it on my computer i can open it on my computer and then that's all so you you can you can transfer like from from one computer to another but it is uh, mm -hmm. impossible for free version to to see it uh, online yeah Oh yeah, it's like, is it like, oh, for example, Microsoft Excel is in like .sl, the Excel file. So this is in Power BI file. So people can just open in their computer if they have Power BI. Yeah, yeah, it will be it will be on, on Google Drive. It will look uh, differently. There are like a couple of files, not one file. But then mm -hmm. when someone downloaded it, it will be one file on his computer or her. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it now. Yeah, yeah. So I, I use because with Tableau it is uh, better because there are like Tableau uh, public version where you can like share a link and I could uh, see my your dashboard on this link. But with Power BI it is a little bit more complicated, but still it is possible to to share dashboards. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So I I don't know to be honest. It's uh, look like r real dashboards with the filters. Uh, and, and and so on but I, i'm not in the context of it uh, to be honest uh, i we never use uh, uh, visualization like this because it is very hard to to understand uh, like visually to understand what what's uh, biggest what's uh, to, to compare compare it so it is in my view it is better to avoid this stuff like this it's better to look some 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 gra graph uh, that uh, will be easier to compare oh like bar charts or like pie charts yeah 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 because for example i don't know what's the uh, uh, biggest like this label uh, count of uh, like this or, or that because i can see like data point here and I couldn't understand. It's look like this lo this uh, longer, but it's more wider and uh, it's it's hard to be honest without without numbers. But uh, the uh, like the advantages of dashboard that it uh, helps to understand data better without looking at numbers. Yeah. So I looked, for example, I know that even without numbers, I know that France. Uh, by, by by sales is bigger bigger than Germany, yeah. Even if you like uh, remove these numbers, but in this case, if you remove these numbers, I couldn't understand. Is it chairs biggest the bigger their bookcases or vice versa and so on? So try to use this diagram that uh, better to understand visually. The same stuff, to be honest, with this uh, like pie chart. It is hard when it like became more than three category, four category. It is also without looking at numbers. It is harder to to understand, uh, well, like the, these categories and so so on. Yeah. So we, we try we try to look to to use this uh, stuff like this, like bar chart and and so on. You know, but with this stuff, yeah, it is only three category. It, it is uh, like good looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have another one? Yeah. Uh, before, like, we look at another one. Can can you can we look at the like? I opened the Power BI. Can we look at the Power BI first? Because I have some things to ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I okay. So I am using Mac. So I don't have Power BI desktop. I can only use the web version. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't. I'm not really sure how to get the Power BI file because like. For now, is it this save a copy? Like because if I click export, it's also only analyze in Excel or PowerPoint or like PDF, which is what I did. The PDF. Uh, okay. Oh, you're 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 sharing the screen, right? Okay, let's me see. Yeah, Can you see. Uh, it? yeah, yeah. File. Yeah, oh, I can you, see to share oh, it. You can, can download, download it. it. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't know. It's uh, and uh, this is uh. Can you go to the uh, upper right corner, right, right, and here, here is a button with the uh, downloaded. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Can you click on it? Borrow the desktop. Is it this one? Let me try it. No, I think it's more about uh, this pro program like dashboard desktop. 
No, to be honest, uh, it is better to to Google it, how you can download it from web version because I use Windows and uh, I, I I could download it without any without any problems. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. No, it's it's not the questions that I could help for now. <laughs> all right. It's okay. Mm, do you have a th third one? Where is third one? The third one. Let me find it. The third one is the Python, the last one, loan default analysis. Mm. Uh, let's scroll up a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this mm -hmm. is very messy. Oh, I don't have time to tidy it yet. It's very messy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This or yeah. this? Uh, both, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, the file is a bit like the file size is, is quite big, so it might take some time to load. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, download data. It is missing value. Okay. Oh. Oh. And uh, okay, it's your conclusion. What's uh, about uh, what you find in data, and what will be your recommendation? I I I, I didn't do that. Ah. I didn't write the recommendation. Mm -hmm. So think uh, like your uh, like why company will pay for data analyst? Not only for he said that okay, more if user apply for cash loans as compared to revolving loans and so on, but uh, this company is like stakeholders who like uh, are or the head of the company, they want to know what they should do, what they should do, uh, like uh, on the foundation of your analysis on this data, what they should do to uh, earn more money, to proceed their businesses more efficiently and so on, to like avoid uh, some losses of money and so on. So you have to think it's like uh, uh, the, 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 the biggest value that you can bring to the table is to think about recommendations because it's it's something that I will look in in every projects in every jobs like after all what 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 should we do with it uh, what may I I'm not in the context of this project again but uh, you have to think about it okay okay and <clears throat> try 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 to finish your every analysis with this stuff not only the about conclusions but with the recommendations so what what we should do next. Okay, for example, you like communicate your analysis to stakeholders and then like they have to make some decision on this. So maybe they shutting down their uh, cash loan department or maybe they have to like launch new survive or based on, on some, some of this. So maybe you find some interesting segments that we uh, not to uh, like uh, use on 100% and have to like work more with them and, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's something that you have to th think and try to 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 add this to to because uh, to be honest, uh, like uh, if hiring manager has uh, like I don't know how many minutes to to see your projects, it will be not like this. How you visualize this stuff or what you do here, it will be at the end like where your conclusions and where your recommendation have to be it's uh like it's uh will show how you think how you can propose some hypotheses uh, and so on and it's the, the main uh, one of the main uh skills for a data analyst 
it's something okay. that I I'm I'm still like uh, have some problems. I'm still trying to develop this uh recommendation skills uh, in myself uh, i know it's it's hard but you have to as you more in this context you like go through this uh, analysis explanation and so on so it is better for you to imagine that you present your analysis your insights to stakeholders and you try to recommend them of course it will be on uh if the, they may uh, agree with you and try to make decision based on your report or they may disagree with you and try uh, make some decision based on their experience intuition and so on but at least you have to add this recommendation okay mm -hmm. okay uh, also i would like to look at your linkedin page uh did you see my screen right yeah i see your, i can yeah. see your screen yeah, yeah. So uh, what's uh, my recommendation for you? Uh, firstly, uh, I advise you to add here uh, a link uh, for your GitHub. Or oh, at least... I, my, uh, yeah. I added it below, like the featured section, because I'm not sure how to add it on top. Uh, I it below, a bit below. Yeah, I could show you how to do this. Uh, okay, this is this pencil. Mm -hmm. Edit oh. pencil, you click on it, then you go to the bottom, it is edit custom button, you click on it, and here is a link. Ooh, so okay. you click on this link and you could uh, write down th 30 characters uh, and uh, then your link. So it have to be some 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 your maybe some one project that you wanted to to show. Maybe you can use some survive. I don't know. You heard about like link tree or something that you can like uh, you can add a couple of links in one link and so on. But at least is there have to be something that you wanted to show to recruiter to everyone who uh, goes to your pack, to your profile. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's the pencil beside like. Um, yes, pencil all... uh, on the right corner of your profile. Oh, okay. oh, because I don't think I have the custom button function in my in my contact info. Not at yeah, all. Yeah, I, I don't have it. <laughs> or is it only available for premium? Because I don't have it. Hmm. Like contact info it's, is uh, but, the but last still, thing. still, I had it previously. We, we even without premium LinkedIn, it was there. It might be called not custom oh. button. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let me try it later. Yeah, yeah. You tr you try to Google it, but uh, I I had LinkedIn Premium from September, but still I had like for a year I had this in my profile. Yeah. So it's it's not uh, it, it's something that have to be in every account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me try okay. to figure it out later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, 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 uh, cool that you post your projects. Yeah, I, I like it. But uh, not cool that you like post uh, very rare. So it was like for uh, for last three years you have like uh, uh, five posts. Uh, three of them are like three three months ago, two months ago, and so on. So you're not consistent uh, LinkedIn. Uh, posting user. So my advice is try to post not only about your project, but about yourself. About, uh, of course, with a professional and professional direction. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so some new stuff that you learn. Some maybe your uh, jobs uh, uh, journey or so on. So you, for example, for example, you work for three for three months as uh, this data analyst trainee but you didn't post uh, uh, not, not once about it and so on so it have to be not only projects but uh, also about you as a data profession okay. also uh, my advice is uh, avoid uh, links so if you wanted to show something, for example, in your project, you have to add it in your commentary section, not in your post. Because LinkedIn as a platform, they want to increase their uh, metrics called that calls session duration. So uh, in simple words, LinkedIn don't want for someone to go inside uh, outside LinkedIn. 
So if you passed a link on your post, uh, it will uh, LinkedIn lower your visibility among your uh, subscribers. So Ooh, it's, okay. yeah, it's no, uh, common. It's common with Facebook. Uh, on Instagram, you can't uh, like share links except in your profile section and so on. So you, uh, uh, the good practice is you like wrote. Uh, right here that uh, my link uh, in the comment and in the comment you you post this link oh no wonder i keep i normally see those people that have a lot like those popular linkedin influencers they are like oh link in command yeah yeah, yeah. it's 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 for this it's for this reason yeah it's it's common for for almost every social network yeah it's it's lower link in post lower your uh visibility and engagement also uh, it's fine that uh, like people who comment you you comment back and so on and so forth and then it stopped so for example in this case you could uh, like increase uh your visibility the more comment will be under your uh, page the better it is for linkedin but uh, you start with answering for so for people for but then you stop to do it. So every every comment under your post have to be answered by you. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, I'll go back to answering. Yeah, it's them. it's simple. It's simple advices, but uh, believe me, they, they they work. This week I received, uh, I published a post that received more than forty thousand uh, views uh, because it was uh, it had some engagement, and I answer all the comments, and I always try to do this in every network. Uh, social network because it is like the, the currency commenting under your post is the currency of network uh, social network yeah uh okay what else uh yeah also here uh about uh, endorsement uh so um uh, wait this with skills uh, so you have uh, these skills but you didn't have any endorsement so i might advise try to ask some friends colleagues and so on to uh, like to endorse your your skills it is like social proofness that uh, not only you said that you're a good specialist but other people also said about it I think I do have one below. I, I I think I have one or two skills. I do have people endorsing me, but it's like very below the skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I know. I do have people endorse my skills before. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, it is better this like uh, you have twenty one skills, but you have only two of them that uh, people could see without clicking on this uh, section. So my advice is uh, try to uh, set here the major one. In my view, the major ones will be like SQL and uh, I don't know, maybe some visualization stuff like Power BI or Tableau or maybe Excel or Google Spreadsheet. So it's not Power BI that's the most valuable for data analyst uh, uh, pro profession uh, tool. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and also there is uh, like, wait a minute, uh, LinkedIn page. Uh, that you pass some assessment and uh, my advice is try to do this with some uh, tool that you will like with Python, with SQL, with Power BI, I don't know if there is any with Tableau, so on. It's also a social proofness, but not from your colleagues or friends, but from LinkedIn that you pass, uh, like you are in the upper 30% of uh, people who <laughs> have these skills. Uh, mm -hmm. I only did that for Excel. I tried doing that for... I'm not sure which Microsoft tool, but I failed it like too many times and they are like, oh, you have to do it like six months later. Oh, oh okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, next uh, recommendation. So you had this previous experience, you had some colleagues that uh, worked with you during this time uh, and you haven't any recommendation. So you can ask your former colleagues about it maybe people with whom you studied uh, previously and so on it's uh, good to have this one for example like this so people who managed me previously write a couple of sentences about how well, that i'm valuable uh, specialist and so on and so forth it's still social proven is that all the people not only you said that you a uh, good data analyst but all the people also said about it so try to uh, engage at least two of them because also there are maybe a lot of them, but uh, on your head page uh, uh, will be only two of them, the most uh, uh, old ones, 
and uh, you have to like receive this two recommendation to 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 upgrade your profile to, to for for it to look better mm -hmm. okay i'll try to ask them because like my ex colleagues in kpmg they don't really use linkedin like most of them their linkedin is not active like they don't really no. use it but at least they like if they not not active you mean they are uh, are on linkedin or they do, don't have a linkedin account they have but they just don't use it they it's like it's there for like just there but they're not active at all it's like they don't, try they, they don't. try to try to engage try to engage them at least they enter once once uh, like <laughs> wrote a couple of sentences and they log out for for a couple of years yeah Okay, let me find some people who I'm close with. <laughs> See if they are willing to do it. Yeah. Mm, I think that's all. So it's like quite nice with this volunteering stuff, with this license certification and so on. But uh, you have to add some some other people on your page. So some people that say it may, it's not about hard skills. It's more about soft skills. People that you are, are very systematic uh specialist hard working and so on and so forth because it is hard to understand uh, for people from K kpmg uh, how good you know power bi or sql and so on but you they can say that you have good sense of your humor and and so on and so forth and it is nice to work with you previously and so forth. okay yeah okay so i stop sharing so if you want we could uh, like uh, provide some Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I think it's like like the, the web was. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so if you want, we could provide some uh, mock interview for now. I have some questions and we could try it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let me uh, let me share also the screen. Uh, so firstly, uh, let's start from the like logical mathematical task. Uh, wait, you can before, use. Wait, wait, sorry, before that, can I ask one more question? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's yeah, sorry, sorry to cut you stop. off. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so I actually have another data visualization project, but I don't have like recommendations. Do I just write any recommendations for it? Because like I think it's. There's nothing for me to recommend. Do I just write anything that just try to recommend something on it? Mm, I, to be honest, I didn't understand the question. Can you repeat? Okay. Oh, maybe let me share my screen. I think it's easier mm -hmm. to explain it that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Can, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I did this. This is another data set challenge, which is like data visualization. Mm, yeah, I saw so, I saw it on LinkedIn, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm not sure like what I can recommend because it just says like the, it's the most streamed songs on Spotify no, for 2023. Yeah, it's yeah. it's more it's more not... Um, <laughs> like yeah. I, I, I look at it as a dashboard, but then I understood that it is not dashboards. It's just uh, visualization. It's just like uh, some statements that, okay, is this year uh, weekend was the most streamed author and, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's not, um, it's not kind of research. I don't know. It's uh, like f f factology. So you have, you visualize something and then you say, okay, th this is there. It's, a, but you, you not visualize, uh, like, for example, imagine that you work at Spotify, yeah. Yeah. You you provide you create this data set and so on just for people for rent for for outside aud auditory, not from inside, not for for stakeholders and so on. So for uh, for example, I'm using Spotify, and for me it is interesting to know that okay, like well, weekend is the most uh, streamed uh, author, this uh, blind in life, uh, he's the most streamed song and so on. It is something that interesting for outside audience so for their as a people who use spotify and so on it's not analysis that you provide for uh stakeholders 
for like CEO of Spotify, for head of analytics of Spotify and so on. It's, it's different uh, goals with it. You don't have to give the, in this case some recommendation because it's just for interesting information for people and so on, but not for, for, comp for people with whom you work. It's not a type of research that your uh, internal product team uh, asks to provide. You understand the difference, yeah. So, so yeah. We, with this, but we, because with the loan case, uh, case this uh, created stuff, uh, it was something that uh, like this company may ask their data analysts to analyze our cash and to say, it, please, uh, how can we perform better and so on. In this case, it's just interesting information. It's like a uh, wrap of the year and so on and so forth. So it's something that interesting, like people who use Spotify, not people who work in Spotify. So it's it's yeah. normal that it have to be without any recommendation and so on. It's just interesting information. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me stop staring. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're ready. Okay. Yeah. Let's try. So, uh, start with just math math test. Uh, math <laughs> test. Okay. Imagine grasshopper. This grasshopper can jump uh, in two directions. He can jump, it, it can jump forward on 80 centimeters, or it can jump backward on 15 centimeters uh, along a straight line. Uh, can this grasshopper move exactly one meter, 70 centimeters from the starting point in less than seven jumps? Oh, so it doesn't matter if it jump forward or backward, like it can yeah, do both. Yeah. Yeah, so we have we have some point and this grasshopper can jump like forward this point on backwards this point uh, it doesn't matter it you can like see it like right or left it's it doesn't matter how how, how you see it in what dimension but it, we have this point and we have this grasshopper can it be uh, in less than five se seven jumps one meter se 70 centimeter forward on one meter 70 centimeter backward uh, during his jumping ability. Actually, yes. Yes. What, yes why? Can. Why? Because if you jump forward four times, less than seven jumps, does seven jumps count? If it's, no, is it? No, se se seventh, seventh doesn't count. Less, less. It's mean less from one, seven. from one to six, from one to six. Ooh, one to six. Yes. <laughs> if it jumps backwards five times and jump forward one time, then yes, it's one meter and seven TCM from the mm -hmm. starting point. How you solve it? <laughs> like five times five is two hundred fifty times five is two hundred fifty meters. I mean centimeters. And if you jump for one once, then you minus eighty from two hundred fifty, which is one hundred and seventy. So it just uh, you randomly try to uh, gra grab grab some numbers, right? It's without any equations and so on. Like I try like multiplying, like jumping forward first, like more than like try to make it more than 170 meters and uh, one mm -hmm. meter and 70 cm and then deducting 50 from it. If I do that, yes, it's possible if it jump forward like four times and jumps backward three times, but you said that it must be, be um, between one to six times. So I tried the other way around, which is jumping backward like five times and jumping forward once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. Okay, it's it was for 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 just for warming up. Uh, next, uh, I will ask uh, for you to your uh, email. You have email with G Gmail, right? No. Yes. Yeah. Can you send it to me? I don't know in ADP list maybe. Oh, okay. uh, I will try to to give you permission to Google query for for some database. I, I to be honest, I never done it before, but I think we, it will be successful. Okay, mm -hmm. you see. It. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Wait a minute, I will try to give permission for you. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Can you look at your email? I think there have to be something, some information about permissions. Not yet. We wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> there's nothing. Oh, no. do you want to send the link to me directly? You can copy the link and send it. Then I can. Mm. Okay, let's let's try. Yeah, it's first, and also I will give you a link for CSV data set. But let's start with the uh, SQL. Uh, so, do you have something on this link? First link. Oh, okay. I am inside already. The first link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's can can you share? Can you share it? Yeah. What is the second link? Like drop me files? I, I don't understand it. It's a SQL. I just downloaded SQL file of this database. So I would like to so some day uh, analysis to provide to you the SQL and also in Google spreadsheet. Okay. Can you see my screen? Am mm -hmm. I sharing my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. Okay. Uh, so, okay, this Kaggle data set, there is a uh, good read books data set. Uh, yeah, you can click on this. Did you work previously on this BigQuery? Mm, I yeah. only work on it for my project. Yeah, mm -hmm. not really in my current role. Okay, okay. So uh, you can uh, click on preview, preview. Yeah, here, yeah. So there is a data set with, uh, from Google Goodreads. Uh, it's from Kaggle. Uh, so what, what we can see there, uh, start from first column, please. Uh, yeah, so it's book ID, just ID of book. It title, it's authors, average rating on Goodreads. Uh, then it's uh, trash information, language code. Okay, uh, numbers of page, uh, counts of ratings, uh, publication dates and publishers. Okay, so this whole information that we have. So let's start from, um, give me please uh, the authors with the highest ratings in this database. Yes, so you can click, yeah, a new, is this wait, new tab? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, I think. <laughs> or you yeah. can, yeah, split. Spl split. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easier to split it because okay. I want to <laughs> Oh, I'm not that familiar with BigQuery because I I, I just I am more familiar. You can, with my, yeah, you right? can you can ask me with, with something that you 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 see for for now you have to see this database and uh, mm -hmm. it's like the same with any uh, SQL server or or something like this. Okay, let me try like querying everything first. Like I want to try it. Oh. Okay. Is it? Mm. Oh, it's something on my side. Sorry, you said some missing permission. Okay, it sucks, but uh, we can. Uh, okay, let's try not with BigQuery, uh, but <laughs> I, I will send you a uh, another service uh, for it. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, can you download this other file, uh, other link, this CSV, and I will send you all the. Uh... Oh, is it in the second link, the drop me files? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. I will try other service for it. Yeah. Okay, it's first time that I use BigQuery for mock interview, and it's not working. 
Okay, download this uh, CSV file and also I sent to you a uh, survive uh, that we could use without any billing problem. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, <laughs> can I share? <laughs> okay, uh, wait, I think it's this one. <laughs> Which one should I click? Is it this one? This... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what's wrong? No, it's you. you oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, can can you uh click again on this link? I don't th th thought that it is problem. Uh, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, what? Is it this? No, 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 no. Uh. I I don't have the translator here, so I yeah. don't really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, wait, wait a minute. It's my problem. Uh, can you, uh, when you first click, cl click on this again, uh, during I, I like, what di oh. did you see? You didn't, because you clicked so someone. Oh, okay. Let me share uh -huh. that page. Oh, yeah, it looks like this. Oh, the same. Yeah, okay. it looks like nothing here. I oh, think. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait for a couple of seconds uh, at the up. It, it will be for now, it's, it will appear. Wait, mm. like for one sec. Oh, yeah, here. Do download it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I forgot <laughs> that it is only Ukrainian sur survive and it's. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, hasn't any translation yet so download it and uh, like repack okay i have downloaded it it's like a csv file yeah 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 and then you can uh, click on the other sur survives it's like dump matter sorry wait give me a moment mm -hmm. okay no problem oh the dump matter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay let me share this page then. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah, and you can, uh, for now, uh, you can uh, download, uh, so select this CSV file. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. here. Let me try running. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so we have the same database. Uh, and uh, for now, uh, give me please. Uh, it's uh, the, the one uh, disadvantage in this survive that there will be uh, no, there not work with with uh, statement. So we have to avoid with statement here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No with statement. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little problem. Okay. <laughs> So uh, give me please the authors with the highest ratings in this paper. The author with the highest rating. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's a. Uh, Let me try it first. This are all the authors with the highest rating. You can uh, broaden this uh, field uh, right upper corner, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this.
what's wrong? Wrong? Wrong is wrong. Uh -huh. Try mm -hmm. this. Hmm. Hmm. No, but you, you didn't solve previous problem and you start typing uh, <laughs> uh, further. Yeah, you have to think. You can ask for a hint if you if you want to answer. Hint? You're gonna give me hints? Yeah. Oh. Let me try another thing. Oh my god. Let me help you. Oh, I know. I... Okay, I know what's wrong. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's normal. Yeah. Uh, okay, imagine that uh, uh, it's uh, a little bit cheating because you know uh, you will know what the highest uh, rating. I may create uh, in that way. Uh, that, uh, for example, if we change and tomorrow there will be six uh, mark and uh, it will be still give me five. Can you do it by uh, with uh, ordering and grouping stuff? Ordering. Yeah, without without knowing. If you imagine that you don't know that five is uh, the, the maximum. Do I need to use like subquery or CTE? Like, can you give me mm, a hint? I don't. I don't think that subquery is uh, something that you need in here. Hmm. If I use max. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's wonderful. It's without grouping, but still, yeah, it's 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 good. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, Let's go okay. Uh, further. Uh, give me, please, uh, three publishing houses or three publishers that have uh, published the most authors. The publishing house that has the most authors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. In this, in this data set. Okay, let me try again. Let's see. Oh, can I see the whole whole table? Yeah, yeah oh. of course. Oh, okay. Publishing house. Okay. Okay, what, what did you miss? What did I miss? Uh -huh. hmm. Grouping the number of authors based on the publisher. No, no, what, what for, for, for now, why it is like uh, one publisher and uh, 11,000 uh, authors of this publisher? Hmm. Did I did something wrong with this? Like, this is wrong. Look, uh, for now, like, uh, what do what you say to the database? You said, please give me a first row of in publisher, first publisher. It give you first publisher. Then you said, give me all amount of authors that we have in our database. And the, is this give you all amount of uh, rows with authors in it there. But it's not uh, like uh, amount of author of this one publisher. You understand what, what's, what's wrong for now? Yeah. What did you miss? This one? Publisher? Wait, let me think. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, like I need to group the count by publisher instead of asking them. Like mm -hmm. this is all. So why, why? Why didn't you do it? <laughs> Wait. Uh... Wait a minute. Okay. Uh -huh. You can you can Google you can Google for it for example how you can group something in SQL. It's it's not uh, like any restriction, and so so what what do you need to group by? Mm.
Mm. And I need to only only three of them. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Oh, the distinct. <laughs> I miss all the distinct. No, no, no. I thought you you also with the distinct you miss group by, and that was your hum, huge problem. So you like you received first publisher. You received all amount of authors. Yeah, it's without distinct, but still it's like huge all amount of rows. But you didn't use group group by, so it will be not group by 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 publishers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. so even without this thing, it still works. Okay. Yeah, it, it have to be. It have to be distinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's good. Yeah. yeah. But group by it is like more more uh, give you more more problem. Uh, okay. Um, can you give me the author who has the highest average number of pages? Author who has the highest number. So, for average. example, if if John Rowling if John Rowling released one book that had eight hundred pages and other book that had four hundred pages, then major uh, average uh, number of pages will be six hundred. Oh, case. okay. So it's like the total number of books and pages like divide total number of pages divided by total number of books. Mm, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, number of pages. Now look uh what what is the uh, num page num pages okay what's the run there oh, is num pages i one? think i think it have to be two underscore because in bigquery maybe there is something with this uh, can you try with two underscore on it no 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 before before num page before num page here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in Google BigQuery it was with with two, two underscore, two, not one, two, two, two. And no, okay. It's it's something. I think with something with database. It's not. Uh... No, but is this right? Mm -hmm. Now just let me try other things. Everything's calm. Yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah, so it's okay. Let's let's switch to to the task. It says, uh, "How many books have Harry Potter in their title?" How many books have Harry Potter in the title? Okay. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. It's not like
Yeah. <laughs> is all the books right? Is it correct? Mm, or should I? Wait, but uh, how many books? Oh. Uh, then if that's the case, I need to move this. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, look at the column. Is there any rel more relevant uh, like column than just uh, asterisk uh, in count? What you had to add add to count, uh, but not just this asterisk. It's like it's called that all rows. Uh, yeah. Is all there rows. In, is there uh, something a col some column in our database that is better looking than just all row? Book ID? Yeah, yeah. I think it will be the same, but still it is more better practice to, to use book ID. And also, if there will be always a possibility that in some rows can be two, like, duplicates. Can we, like, uh, avoid, avoid duplicates? Yeah. You want the, like, total number of books, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is mm -hmm. one, just one, one action that you have to do to, to receive these numbers. <laughs> yeah, or two, yeah, yeah, two, two action. Wait, is it title? Wait, title. Wait, wait. Um, uh, title. Wait. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Yeah, but still, uh, can you can you uh, uh pass the book ID? Bo no, book ID in uh, except title. Oh, okay. Because it may be like uh, the same title but different uh, like uh, edition. No, it's uh, without oh. uh, empty space. Ah, uh, okay. And with the inst distinct also. Okay. I think it will be the same. Yeah, the same. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it is this end. Uh, okay, the last one with the SQL, I think. Uh, can you give me uh, the top 10 authors uh, by the number of their review? Okay. Reviews. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. R ra ratings, mm -hmm. ratings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this correct? Mm, I don't think so. <coughs> Wait, can you repeat the question again? Uh, can you give me a uh, top ten writers that received uh, the more the most uh, view, reviews? Most reviews. Wait, reviews is rating, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this is this rating counts, right? Right. Yeah, is this, most is this... reviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm 
isn't this like authors that receive false mm -hmm. reviews? No, let's uh, can you uh, like uh, copy copy this uh, query and look on the whole database? Look the whole database? Yeah, you can select select asterisk from select from and to to, to look at, at all all data. Oh, okay. But just co copy it for for not not losing. Okay, let's let's see this uh, column of uh, review counts. Yeah. yeah. So you see, for example, Harry Potter uh, on five, five, fifth, fifth row. Harry Potter it received uh, more than two millions reviews, but not uh, forty as uh, like uh, the, the 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 most popular author in your query received for only forty forty re re reviews. Oh, okay. I think I know. I think I know the problem now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You missed something. Hmm. Not better. <laughs> uh, is it the order by? So what what for now what uh, your database shown you mean here or like yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah so so what what for, for now what what you what you show into us it's starting from nine like everything is from nine like the descending is everything nine like 99 nine, 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 seven, six, five. Yeah. yeah, because you 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 can ask to order by 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 rating counts and so on. Uh, okay, um, okay. Let's let's think for 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 a little without hints. But... Not order by. So every time you use group uh, by function, you have to have something in the select uh, section. Is it something as something? Like, for example, count, rating count as something? No, it's. I don't think it's alias helps you. Uh, this okay, thing? look again, again, try to, it's the same, it's almost the same problem as was in some of previous query. Try to look to what you need to, when you use group by. So some, some basic semantics of, of group by statement. Try to, to Google it if it's maybe helpful. Where? Aggregate function? Yeah. Hmm. 
Still not not uh, what what if okay you you received you you said uh, authors mark uh, max uh, rating cards what did uh, you received in this like columns wait I should what did I receive is group by authors and the maximum rating counts per author wait it's not max. Hmm. Wait, can I ask, like, for the ratings count, is it, mm -hmm. like, by authors? Are we trying to focus on the ratings count? Like, for example, if one author, they have, like, multiple ratings count, like, multiple books. So are we getting the average of all the ratings? Or, like, no, the it's, one... it's 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 the, it's the counts of race. So, for example, if John Rowling received... Uh, 100 uh, ratings, then 200 ratings, and then 300 ratings for three different books. She received uh, 600 ratings. Oh. It's not average. It's like uh, I need a total amount of ratings. Look like, but I need ten. <laughs> yeah, it's look like Stephen King, John Rowling, Tolkien, Myers, all the the famous authors. Uh, I think uh, will receive the the majority of uh, ratings. Yeah, it's it's true. So you have to remember about uh, like try to to use a more group by statement because you have problem with it you forgot about uh, aggregating function uh, you sometimes mis misuse it and so on so every almost every time uh, when you use group by you have to use some aggregate function the one exception is when you want to avoid duplicates you can group by all columns and uh, for, for avoiding duplicates, but it's uh, not not common choice. So it's like better always when you use group by, always try to aggregate function. Uh, do you work in Google Spreadsheet? Mm, yes, Google Sheets, right? Yeah, because we could uh, like uh, repeat this task, but with the help of Google Spreadsheet to see if you really know, know this stuff. Okay, let's try. Okay, oh. it will be the... The last task uh, start start from the beginning. Uh, can can you import the CSV to your Google spreadsheet? Okay, let me tr try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not huge data set, so it will be normal. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's loading now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's try from the beginning authors with the highest ratings. Authors with the highest ratings. Wait, the mm -hmm. authors? Wait, um, is the author. Wait, wait, it's the same. It's the same as we done previously with the SQL. So uh, with the highest, so highest average ratings. So we need all authors that had the highest average ratings. Yeah. 
I think I just saw it. <laughs> yeah, for me, yeah. oh my god, it's lagging. Hmm. Yeah, like I just saw it by like mm -hmm, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you, you, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so it, it is uh, true, okay. Uh, do you work with pivot tables? Yes, I do. Okay, okay, let's, let's go. Let, let, no, let, let's go. To, uh, give me three publishing houses that have published the most authors. I think oh, okay. you will, you will, <laughs> you will yeah, have okay. your opportunity to use pivot tables here. Yeah. Yeah, I use that a lot in KPMG, like my previous job. Like I uh -huh. use that almost every day. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's see. With the most authors, okay. Uh Uh -huh. yeah but uh, yeah but i i don't remember to be honest previous uh, our answers but uh still you in sql you use uh, count distinct authors can you use here the same yeah for for now it's look better okay mm -hmm. Okay, so it was much uh, faster than it was in SQL. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's try with the authors with the highest average number of pages. Okay. I think here it will be easier. Average uh -huh. number of pages, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's first first Winston Churchill and as I see yeah, it's four thousand. It's it's true. Uh, okay, and uh... mm -hmm. uh Let's about 10, ten top 10 authors by numbers of review. Number of reviews. Is this right? Or mm -hmm. is this yeah, right? Yeah. I think it's top. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Top 10 authors. Okay.
okay, can I confirm again? Is it average or like total reviews? No, it's it's total. It's total number of reviews. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. And can you give me, uh, near these authors, can you give me uh, their average ratings? Do you want to still include this or just... Yes, still still include this and uh, next column have to be like their uh, average ratings. Oh. No, 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 no. Let, let's, let's it be. So, so more, uh, to total numbers. But also, I would like to have uh, their average rating near. Hmm. So for example, I would like to know if this really is some uh, connection, like the more uh, uh, the biggest amount of uh, ratings auto received, the better his or her rating will be. Oh. Can I can I copy paste it like separately because I don't think I can do it here. Mm. Yeah. Wait, I, I, I need <laughs> yeah 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 I need I need just to uh, write answer. You have to do it uh, as 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 you wish, as okay. you're comfortable with. Do you want me to sort it by ratings or the ratings? Oh, count about so uh, sorting them as uh, on, on total total ratings. So I want to do so John Rowling to be first. Then what's a Tolkien, then Brown, and so on. So I want okay. to see the most popular author on uh, by uh, total number of ratings, but also I would like to know their average rating. Oh, okay. Not not rating like, okay. Let's let's. Uh... Is it this? Yeah, for now, yeah, is this a good order? But I would like to know their average, not rating counts, but ratings. It's it's all the column. Do you understand? Okay, uh, let, let's go. Let's go to the table. Yeah, here is uh, table D. Table D. It's average rating. Oh, okay. So okay, I wanna okay. I wanted to see their uh, amount of rating counts. Wow. Uh, I column, but also nearby, I wanted to see this average rating. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Okay. Is it this? Like how many ratings? Mm, not how. What What is the average rating? It can be more than five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Amon, if if we uh, take first ten uh, authors, do you know what is correlation is? Correlation. Cor correlation. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. let's. Uh, can you give me uh, what, what is the coefficient of co 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 correlation coefficient uh, for t first 10, 10 authors? Is this any connection between, uh, is it any correlation between sum of rating counts and average uh, ratings? Mm. Do you know what is uh, cor correlation coefficient? 
Yeah, like uh, for example, if there are more average rating is higher, the sum of rating counts is higher or is lower. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, what is a for, for for first ten authors? If we look only first ten, uh, what is the correlation coefficient? Yeah, stop stop here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. can you give me? Is there a strong correlation or weak correlation, positive correlation, negative correlation? I think not much because if there's a positive correlation, then the higher the average rating, then I mean, like if the ratings count is higher, then the average rating will be higher. It means it will be high, highest to lowest. But it's not the case here though because there, there's like four point something in between. But like above mm. them, although they have more ratings counts, but the average rating is only 3.59, 3.8, 3.99 is not consistent. But if it's negative correlation, then it's not the case as well because it's like a mix of everything. <laughs> so that's not a strong, that isn't a strong correlation, I'd say. Uh, you, you can't, you can't say it just by looking at number. You have to receive the co co correlation coefficient. It's oh. a... Yeah, it's hard to to see it just by, by uh, from your eyes. Wait, is this some some? The, it's this formula. formula. It's a formula. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, I had never it's used built. It. It's built it formula. Okay, let's uh, type. Uh, let's try to type formula. Like with this. Uh, Isn't something called? Yeah. Is it this it's, because I yeah. I use it in Excel before. I've never yeah. used it. Yeah, I think it's so. Uh, it look like the same. Data so. Y, data X. Oh, okay. Zero point four nine. Mm, yeah. No, it's positive, but it's not very strong. Mm, it's, yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. it's, it's it's better than, than just say it's just like you look at the data. Yeah, you always have to, to calculate c c correlation coefficient to know how, how it is and so on. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think that's a lot for our small mock interview. It, it was good, but still uh, you see that you uh, provide some analysis in Google Spreadsheet much more faster than it was in SQL. So you have to uh, practice in with SQL for stuff like this. For example, like you grab some data set, you can, uh, with the help of SQL, with Pivot Table, you can receive some, you propose some hypothesis, you just calculate it in Google Spreadsheet and you try to recalculate it with SQL. So receive the same data, the same like uh, answers, but to use the SQL for it. And the more you will use SQL for this stuff, the faster you will do it as like in Google. So your, your uh, tr tr trash, so, your level on which you have to provide SQL solutions is to receive them this uh, speed as in uh, Google Spreadsheet. Because in Google Spreadsheet, you work very well and very fast. Yeah, but with SQL, there are still some problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, do you have some question for now? So I think... I, I think I know what to do because like you mentioned a lot of things just now, like for example, my GitHub, um, my mm -hmm. resume, my LinkedIn, and also my SQL skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. SQL is the more Im most important in, in my view because it is like some skills that uh, used a lot in data analytics. But with the GitHub, with the LinkedIn, it is like minor improvements that you can do like to, to to increase your chances for offer or for at least for first interview with the recruiters mm -hmm. okay i understand yeah so in this case like okay so if i were to like prioritize on sql so i like practice more on sql and do like one project on it right because you mentioned the one that i currently have is more towards data engineering for the database mm -hmm. yeah 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 so it's like the same also like i i i prepare for this interview for like i don't know half an hour uh, so i just uh, type some uh, data set in kaggle so i type books 
I received first data sets that, uh, that I looked like books on Kaggle. Then I tried to propose some, create some hypothesis. So what's the 10 most popular writers? What's the average rating? What's the books with the most majority numbers of pages and so on? And then try to solve it in, in SQL. So it's like this, the same stuff. So it's, so you have to analyze some data set to provide some uh, conclusion, some recommendation, but with the help of SQL. Because in, oh. in majority of cases, you will use SQL to retrieve data, to receive some, some answers from it without even Google Spreadsheet, without Power BI or Tableau and so on. So you have to be familiar with it to provide all, all analysis with the help of SQL. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So yeah. feel free, feel free in future to reach to me if you will have some other question. If maybe you want to train another mock interview with within time, so I will be glad to to help you with your future right. questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just let me like uh, work on all these stuff first. Mm -hmm. Then if okay. I need another mock interview session, then yeah, I'll book your session again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deal. So have a nice day. It was glad to yeah. talk to you. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye bye.